It's a place for anyone who's thinking about how can I make a difference? How can I make change happen in my little space of the world? How can I do something positive? Um, SPI brings together people who are all trying to make a change in their little part of the world. And what becomes, um, it's, I know it sounds silly, but almost magical to watch somebody from halfway across the world say, here's what I'm doing in my little space of the world. And this person jumps up and down and says, oh, that's what I'm doing in my little part of the world. The magic of SPI, it's a really safe space here to, to deal with people. I don't know, but maybe because all of them are peace builders and here in, in, in this community, it's a very safe place to, to share with them your experience and take from them. And you don't really think that, oh, this guy, he's from Kenya and oh, this guy, he's from um, US or his guy from China or I don't know where. You think that he is a peace builder from the world. SPI started as a gathering place for a people, groups of people who were doing some practical work on violent conflicts in particular and what to do about that. It, you needed space to talk to other people who were doing similar work, otherwise you f A, you feel very alone and B, you can't reflect and learn from your own and the work of others. SPI is a container where both individual and structural growth happens and influence spreads from SPI into the field. The technique that uh, was new for me was analyzing conflict and mapping the conflict. And uh, that was so difficult. Mapping conflict and analyzing it is first step and good step for solving the conflict. SPI availed me the opportunity to, to create network. And these are not just networks that once you leave SPI, you forget about people. Because the experiences that we share at SPI are such are, are deep-rooted in, in a way that you, you find it difficult to just, you know, forget about people once you're out of SPI. The philosopher loving us claims that the face of the other is what calls us into ethics. And it's really powerful to be able to witness the stories of people who have lived through genocide and violence and injustice. It, it humanizes conflict. We tend to bring people from all sides of a conflict. We bring people from Israel and Palestine and Jordan and Syria. We bring Hutus and Tutsis from the Great Lakes region and they take classes with the other. They take classes with the person who back home would be their enemy. Hearing uh, from students in the Middle East how impressed they were in attending CJP and, and specifically SPI, uh, they would come back uh, from their summer peace building experiences and, and rave about what they had uh, encountered here. And there were sort of seemed to be three themes that, that uh, stuck out. One was the, the interactive learning environment, which was new for them. Uh, the idea that their ideas mattered and it wasn't just the professor delivering wisdom. Uh, second was the international learning community. They loved being here with students from 30, 40 other countries and hearing their stories and their situations. And the last was that they just found this to be a safe space. Uh, many of them are in, in deep conflict zones, and to get away to a quiet place like Harrisonburg was a, a respite for them. That, that we are exploring, we are touching things that are very difficult to touch, but we are there. And this gives me a lot of energy. Um, so, I want to express my appreciation for that. And Probably that's part of my reason for my addiction to SPI. <laughs> what we're trying to do here is create the generation of people who will change the world's political dominant paradigm away from violence resolves conflict to peace building and community and relationships resolves conflict and violence.